What's up all you lads and ladies? Welcome to another fascinating video in the world of Reddit where we'll see what the people of the world think about a Wikipedia god. If you liked the video, post your favorite Reddit comment in the description for a chance to win $10. Hope you enjoy. Much love. Today I learned that one man, Stephen Pruitt, was responsible for a third of Wikipedia's English content with nearly 3 million edits and 35k original articles. Nicknamed the Wizard of Wikipedia, he still holds the highest number of edits for the English Wikipedia under the alias Sarah Mancio di Nicolio. I made one single edit one time. I fixed a misspelled city name on the 26th of February 2014. It ain't much, but it's honest work. I suppose I would make more if I saw more edits that needed to be made. I once heard a biblical archaeologist speak at a Christian men's conference. I later went and read his Wikipedia article. The article claimed that he found the anchor from Paul's ship and cut it up to make diving tools out of it. I had just heard a man speak on the topic and he claimed that the anchor had already been found and made into diving tools by the people who had found it. I edited the Wikipedia article and someone changed it back cause the wrong one had a source. Last I saw it had been updated to the correct story with a source. Doing God's work. That's fair of them. The other accounting of the info had a source, but yours didn't. If yours did have a source then either both accounts should be noted if no clearly more accurate source could be determined between the two. Do you know if what qualifies as a source? If op took a video of the guy saying it and uploaded it on YouTube, would that have been accepted? Fun fact. He's never edited his own Wikipedia page. Or at least so he claims. I mean you are not supposed to- Ro. Great suit. He is a contractor for US Customs and Border Protection, where he works with records and information. Is he Mycroft Holmes? So we've got this guy in our friendship group. He's weird as frick and upsets people. In fact the guy could upset the Dalai Lama. But we've known him for like 20 years so we're legally bound to him. Anyway we meet his big brother and the guy is even weirder and more of an arsehole than he is. So we nicknamed him Mycroft and kept inviting to nights out. I don't know what you want to do with the story, but I think Mycroft is a great nickname for when you meet that guy and find out he's actually the most mild member of the family. Yeah, but I bet he didn't donate $3. He probably made Wikipedia a lot more money indirectly with his edits. I haven't and I never will. I used to be a super active contributor, but then I eventually ran across one article on a controversial subject that was being kept one-sided via intentional errors of omission. In trying to get that cleaned up I discovered a core clique of people who abuse the wiki rules to silence dissent and maintain the bias in that article. They had a member of Arbcon among them so you could do nothing. After several months of fighting over that article one quit contributing and have never trusted any culturally controversial subject article on wiki again. Nor will I contribute financially. This guy wikis. And pedius. Yeah I was wondering why it was spaced. He says in another comment that this sub doesn't allow the word in titles. Why? Probably due to its reputation as a pool source. Which this mad lad is fighting like a lion to change. Wikipedia is a pretty good source. Change my mind. This is false. He was not responsible for a third of Wikipedia's content. Rather, it was estimated that he had placed edits on a third of Wikipedia pages. Thanks for saying this. The title is self-refuting. Given that Wikipedia is so big no one person could be responsible for a third of its content. I didn't know OP's mum was named Wikipedia. You make it sound like he's dead. Anyway he deserves a Nobel Prize and some honorary degrees. I'm still trying to improve on my and was. Are and were. And totally. Guys worthy of the highest honor. And shout out to all other peeps keeping mankind's largest free repository of knowledge up and running. In behalf of the sub which is probably Wikipedia's biggest client. As a rule. For things like this has been present perfect. Is best. 
It shows Addy edited, made the pages in the past, but is still alive, still active as well. But I think it's one of the hardest parts of English especially from a language without a perfect tense or one which doesn't use it in the same way as in English. Don't tell that to an English teacher. I always got crapped on for having too much passive voice in my writings. Helper verbs are a big no-no, for some reason. I think that BS, but I don't make the rules. I fixed a spelling error and got IP banned. How did you manage to write the name of Wikipedia wrong so many times when you're linking to the site? This sub apparently forbids the mention of Wikipedia on post titles. My apologies. What a weird rule. This sub has some weird rules when it comes to submissions. For example, if your title contains the words could be, no matter in what context, it gets automatically removed. Could be is frequently a weasel word for most likely not true, but we want to imply it is. That's a good illustration of the problem with Wikipedia. While it appears to be crowdsourced information there are a small number of incredibly influential editors, which is fine if they are reasonable and fair-minded people, but not all of them are. A lot of editors go into battle with one another. Some disputes end in pages being completely locked. Wikipedia has a strange community that is really controlling. It's not a what I know is so much as a what you know it about UT very vague. You post too much information about the plot to a story or movie and they remove it. All the info about military history is never specific. And the sources are not vetted. I found an article that used random message board comments as sources. The edit wars and bureaucratic morass that is Wikipedia makes it easy to get 3 million edits. How can you possibly do 3 million edits? He either had some kind of program to help or is getting credit for a team's work. You'll just can't be bothered to google this dude, right? Yes, most of his edits are automated. He made the script to clean up formatting himself. He has, also, written an absurd of articles. And no, not completely by himself. He specializes, if I remember correctly, in musicians biographies. His other hobby is related, he sings in a church choir. Not a brag but, between Steve and Pruitt and me, we have 3 million and 1 edits. I remember some Karen commenting on his looks when this knowledge first came about and then a huge witch hunt happened to her and she deleted all of her social media accounts. Man is still a legend and I hope the Karen in question learned a lesson. Yeah she said looks like I thought he would and got roasted about how little she has probably contributed to the world. And then he discovered the location of the clitoris and it changed his life. Some men just want to watch the world learn. I wish someone could edit the title of the post so I could unsee Wikipedia. Sort of a roundabout way to announce the guy's unemployed. Can we get him to come in and edit the title of this post so there's no space between wiki and pedia? Yeah well I wrote a couple lines on Erasmus. Where's my today I learned? I need this guy on my bar trivia team. Does he get any money for this? You could say he is a Wikipedia file. Title is a bit misleading. He did not create one third of Wikipedia's content. He has however made a huge amount of edits. 35,000 original pages 8 is a lot. But English Wikipedia has oven 6 million. 35,000 isn't one third of 6 million. Still. I have never created a single article, and have only a few edits. I often add my own edits to Wikipedia and am amazed that they actually stick. 
considering I just make them up in the moment. Make sure to like, subscribe and hit that notification bell like it owes you money. Remember to post your favorite reddit comment from the video for a chance to win $10. If you post on other videos you can win double the total prize money. Oh yes, that's right. I hope you enjoyed this fantastic video. By liking and subscribing you're helping a growing channel. Take care. Pip Pip Cheerio. Much love from me, Matt British, and the Queen.